My work uh, looks at post-1945 Germany, specifically uh, the history of sexuality and everyday life. My, I have two projects, one that explores uh, the role of photography in the sexual revolution, and the other looks at social media as a way of thinking about how Holocaust memory is created and constructed online. My work is important to Canadians because it shifts the focus towards everyday life. It explores the histories and practices of people sometimes forgotten by the historical record. And it's an effort to try to bring a voice to those who are underrepresented in traditional histories and history writing. What I love about this work is it's a real opportunity to make change at a very basic level, on the level of representation, on the level of everyday life, in giving power back to people who have played a huge role in the way we think about the world, but who are often ignored or underappreciated. My research interests revolve around the mutual shaping of technology and society, and political culture of technology, especially digital media and information technology, in relation to issues of justice, democracy, participatory culture, and civic engagement. My current research project looks at how digital media interacts with traditional networking, urban spaces, and activism to understand the role of these elements in the making of social movements, using observations based on numerous protests and mass movements around the world I offer conceptual and theoretical frameworks that describe the relationship between digital media and urban spaces and how this interplay contribute to the making of mass collective actions such as the Occupy Hong Kong protests, the Bersi electoral reform rallies in Malaysia, and urban populist movements in Indonesia.